Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be creating a mobile app that is able to recognize shapes. For today's project we're gonna be using React Native which is cross-platform mobile app development framework and for machine learning we're gonna be using TensorFlow. To train machine learning model we're gonna use Google's Teachable Machine software. We're gonna go to their page and click get started. After that, we're gonna choose image type of project and we need to create three classes, triangle, circle, and square. In these classes, we're gonna need to upload some samples of those shapes in order to train this model. I have some prepared, so I'm gonna upload them in every of these classes. After we uploaded our sample images, we're gonna go and hit train model. After model training, we're gonna go ahead and export our model, choose TensorFlow.js, and then choose download, and download. After the download, you will get these three files, which we are going to use in our mobile app. Next up, you're gonna go to the link in the video description and clone this project, which I created for you and has a helper code and already set up TensorFlow within React Native to get you started more quickly on the topic. After you clone the project, you're gonna go ahead and get the files that you downloaded from Teachable Machine. You're gonna create, gonna create a new folder called model and then put all three files in it. And now we can start coding. First off, we're gonna add some imports that will import our UI components, helper classes, and camera module. We'll also add the camera to our UI and styling for the camera. Now that we have the camera on our UI, we're gonna go and map the results. So. You remember in Google Teachable Machine, we had three classes. First one was triangle, second was circles, and then the third one and the final was squares. After that, we are gonna go and create a states. States will be the variables where we will keep the status of if the, our model is processing the image and which is the shape that it recognized. Now we'll need a function that we will call when user wants to capture the image. After we capture the image and set that processing started, we are, ca we are capturing the image in base64. After that, we are passing the base64 image to process image prediction, which is the function that will call the TensorFlow. First, it will crop the image to 300 by 300 square. It will initiate the model, convert base64 image to a tensor, then start prediction with model and that tensor. After that, we're gonna get the predictions array, which we're gonna map to our results mapping. Now that we have a logic sorted out, let's add a button through which we will be able to capture our image. It will be a pressable component added below the camera component and it will, and it will call handle image capture function. After that, we're gonna add the styling. Our button will be positioned at the bottom of the screen and it will be a white circle. Now we need a way to present a user with the result of a prediction. For this purpose, we're gonna use a model which will be visible only when its processing state is set to true. As we can see, at the beginning of handle image capture, it's set to true, model will be shown, and then it will be dismissed when the user presses dismiss button inside the model. Now we need to add the styling for this pop-up, and then we're pretty much done. Now let's start the app and test it out. Here you can see app running and taking pictures of multiple different shapes. 
and in all these cases model gives correct prediction about the shape on the picture.